All right. So today, I am going to be playing Japanese Contra, or at least a patch for Japanese Contra. Alrighty. Now, Japanese Contra is pretty interesting because it has cutscenes and other shit that didn't make it into the American version. In the year 2631 AD, a mysterious meteorite fell into the Galuga Archipelago near New Zealand. Two years later, a mysterious invader, calling itself Red Falcon, Falcon. plus the downfall of mankind by fortifying the entire Galuga Archipelago. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Orders were given to Bill and Lance of the Earth Marine Corps. Contra, unit to destroy the enemy's base. So, as you can see, Another one of those features that wasn't featured in the U.S. version is the world map. And of course, there's gonna be some in-between cutscenes in every, like... Like, after every level, you basically go into, like, a cutscene. They're not, like, really big Ninja Gaiden-style cutscenes, but they're pretty much like, Hey, look, we got some extra shit that isn't in the arcade version, which is pretty cool. If anything, I really like the NES style over the arcade version. Though in terms of difficulty, I guess the... Oh shit, that was close. <laughs> I guess you could say that the arcade version can be a little bit harder in some cases. Well, at least if you're trying to 1cc it, that is. I'm gonna kill this fucking bastard. I'm gonna kill this fucking bastard. I'm gonna kill this fucking bastard, and that's what I'm gonna fucking do! Yes! I did it! I won CC Contra! I'm fucking hard! Oh my god! I'm fucking sweating! I'm hot! Holy crap! I did it! Well, in the NES version, you could probably say it's a little bit easier. Just depending on what kind of player you are. So, of course, the NES version, or the Famicom version, which is what I'm playing here, like, they have some longer levels, so it kind of depends on what you're looking for in terms of difficulty. Anyway, we're gonna fucking beat this boss and get ready for the next level. Oh, yeah, and the trees move. If anything, this game has, like, a really nice graphical style. We have arrived at point A. Commencing infiltration. <laughs> I really like this. Like, it kind of just makes you feel like you're going on a wild mission, which is pretty much the point of this story. You're going on a wild mission to defeat the Red Falcon. And save the world, of course. Also, these 3D segments isn't really all that bad compared to the arcade version. Like... I don't know, I guess there's like a little bit more depth in the one from the arcade. Oh fuck! Oh, he, oh shit, that was close. <laughs> that was really close, man. I would have died right there, and that would have been good. I really hope I can 1cc this, though. Hmm. <laughs> Take that, motherfucker. I'm pretty sure I'll 1cc this. I mean, like, I haven't been playing for months? Ew. We good. Come on, man. That was close. Of course, you don't want to get the flying F. F's bad. Like, it, it's a terrible fucking weapon. You do not want that. Hmm. 
Here we go. I'm gonna destroy this bitch! Oh shit! <laughs> that was a close one! Alright, next level would be the waterfall. At least, I guess that's what they call it, right? Well, it is a waterfall level. Garu Makurama? I don't fucking know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Has been neutralized. We're now heading to point B. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's called Waterfall. I guess you could say it's kind of a generic name for a level. But at the same time... It's an NES game from like, what, 1988? Uh, I think it's from 88? 87? Something like that? I don't know. But, you know, stories were basic back then. Ooh, I got an extra life. Nice. All right. Gonna wreck this bitch. Now we're going to get ourselves a B. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. This is what we need. We're gonna try destroying things quickly. Oh, shit. Hmm. No good. Get up there. 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 Oh boy. There we go. That's it. Yeah. Do 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 do. Oh my gosh. That was close. Watch out. You know, when I see these enemies jump like that, it, it just makes me worried because I feel like they're gonna jump on me. And if they actually touch me, well, this game, you pretty much have one hit and you're dead, so yeah. Hopefully nothing stupid like that happens. Alright! Ho ho! Yeah! Take that, motherfucker! I'm actually speeding through this game. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, next level. We have arrived at point B. Commencing infiltration. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Second base. And it's gonna be a lot longer than the first base. I mean, like, in the arcade version, these these levels go by really fast. But in here, eh, it's like, good luck with that, bitch. And over here, they introduce these solid wall objects that you have to, like, break through. Those can be quite annoying. But luckily for me, I know where all the sweet spots are at. So as long as you're able to, like, stand in the sweet spots, you should probably be good at beating these levels. Like, right over here. So just wanna bust that first. Dodge the bullet. Oh shit, I got another 1-up. See, I've, I've been getting a ton of 1-ups in this playthrough. Like, that's pretty good. Haha! -ha! Alright, now we go to the sweet spot. Shoot that bitch. Here we go. Next area. Oh, and by the way, you can, like, zap yourself as much as you want, but all it'll do is, like, make it that you're invulnerable to attacks, so be careful while doing that. And I think we... No, no, not yet. We're almost there, though. Heh <laughs> See, I just zapped myself, but it doesn't hurt you, necessarily. It just has you, like, staying stunned for a while. Which is why you don't want to get zapped while you're trying to, like, constantly shoot fucking enemies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Close! Very close! Oh man! 
See, this is what I mean by sweet spots. Like, you just gotta find those right spots. Shit. Let's go. Ha! Huh. Here we go. Now this should be fucking easy. Let's beat the shit out of this enemy. Oh yeah! Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Look at that. Look at that enemy. He's just gonna die. <laughs> oh wow. I wrecked him real hard. Oh boy. If anything, this is probably the best Contra playthrough I had so far. Go to murder. I, I don't fucking know. I can't pronounce these things. I'm sorry. It has been neutralized. Our objective is to reach the enemy's base at point C. And that is where we will go to our final destination. Of course, this is a weird fucking island, because for whatever reason, there's like snow over there? I mean, then again, we did climb a fucking mountain after all. 